Good people, what's up? It's Pete Thorne. Welcome to the studio. Hey, of course, you heard this pedal on all the guitar parts on the track at the beginning of the video. It's the Karma MTN 10. I also used a bass version, tailored for bass. That's the MTN bass. So these are coming to you from Karma Guitar Amplifiers. It's an American company. They're made in the good old USA. And what are these pedals? As the story goes, back around 1990, Ibanez made a pedal for just a couple years, 90 to 92. It was called the Moss Storchen or Moss Storchen. And obviously probably not that popular when it first came out as they discontinued it after only two years. But it's since become kind of a favorite of the Nashville crowd. Consequently, what's happened, because they only made them for a couple of years, the prices are going through the roof. How much you ask? <gasps> That's right, $750 for an original Moss Storchen from Ibanez. This is crazy. It seems like the price was maybe stable for a little while. I looked at the guide on Reverb and like they were going for maybe 350, 400, and now they're up to 750. So that's bonkers, but I've got good news. These pedals sound every bit as good, essentially the same, if not maybe a little better than the original. RJ did a really nice video where he compares the Karma versions directly with an original Ibanez version. And I, really couldn't tell a, a difference. If there is a difference, very, very, very minor. And if anything, I think I preferred this, this version. So what's the deal with the pedal? Well, it's based around a MOSFET circuit, and I always tend to like MOSFET circuits. They tend to sound like a lot like tubes to me, like a real sort of natural tube -y sort of overdrive. The pedal's got a real full sound to it, like full bass, full mids, full treble, and also a full EQ. There's a three-band EQ there, bass, middle, and treble. Now, the bass version of the pedal, tailored for bass guitar, obviously, there's been some changes made to it. I think there's something like 12 different parts in it or something that kind of tailor it for the frequencies and what you would want to hear out of a bass. I wouldn't say it's a Marshall in a box. If anything, it sounds more like maybe a cranked up, you know, like a tweed basement or bandmaster or something like that. Maybe like Fender meets Marshall. It doesn't have necessarily that upper mid Marshall thing. It's more like a full range kind of overdrive or distortion character. Anyhow, let's solo some of those parts from the track at the beginning of the video outside of the mix. You can clearly hear those tones. I'll show you what it sounds like with single coils, with humbuckers. I'm also gonna play the bass a little more through the pedal. I'm gonna use my TC Ditto looper and play more through the pedal, loop apart so that I can turn the knobs, all that good stuff. <laughs> So I used the Karma in a couple different ways in this video. One way I used it, the primary way, was in front of the clean channel my amp. So all the overdrive or distortion is coming from the Karma. But I also wanted to try it boosting an already dirty sound, so into the channel two of my PT100 amp. And that was the lead guitar part. Um, the two harmony parts, that's all Karma distortion into the clean channel. I had the drive on 10, uh, getting as much grind as I could out of the pedal. And you you know, those parts you actually can hear, they're quite gainy and the pedal's capable of quite a bit of overdrive or distortion on its own. But when I hit channel two on the amp and then turn the driveway down and use it to just boost channel two into like a higher gain kind of molten sizzling solo tone, I got a really cool result. <laughs>
usually when I cut dirty bass guitar parts or with any kind of grind, I'll maybe do like a split amp thing where I've got a clean amp and you know a dirty amp or maybe like a clean DI and a dirty amp but this seems to work all on its own without losing any low end a lot of time overdrive pedals like seem to like lop off the low end of the bass guitar and you don't want that and that's why you would have like a, you know designated like dirty track and then clean track for all the, the fat low end but with this I seem to be, be able to get just like a great blended kind of clean and dirty sound just with one track. So I'm using a B15 uh, amp sim from Brainworks and UA, and this is what it sounds like without the pedal on. Right, and turning on the pedal. So I'm boosting just a little bit of low end and a little bit of top end, and then I'm cutting a little bit of the mids. And they must have tailored the EQ for this pedal for the bass differently than the guitar version. It sounds like it's, um, you know, mostly like maybe centered in the low mids that it's cutting if I, if I cut the mids or boost the mids. So here's what the mid range sounds like. So it's really nice to just cut a little bit of that frequency and then boost a bit of the lows, boost a bit of the highs, and just add a bit of the grind from the pedal, warms up the tone a little bit, and it just sounds really good. Thanks for watching my video on the Karma MTN10 and MTN bass pedals. Terrific sounding versions of a classic old Ibanez pedal that's really expensive and really hard to get now. You can check these pedals out further at the link down in the video description below. Click there, it'll take you to all the info that you could ever want to know about the Karma MTN10 and MTN bass. Please hit subscribe if you haven't hit the bell beside the subscribe, you'll get an alert when I put out a new video. Thanks for watching you guys, I'm Pete Thorne, take care.